Welcome to more Operation Lone Ranger, Global War 1936. Let's jump right into Japan, turn three. And right off the bat, uh, we have one major correction to make that we missed at the setup of the game. Uh, I know there was a lot of um, things that I missed with Japan's setup on turn one. Um, one thing I didn't catch, though, was that there's supposed to be a major factory in Tokyo. So we're going to go back. Um, now, fortunately, this is not an error that just completely ruins the game. So we can go back and we can uh, pick another tech to do. And we'll just, we've got three rolls, including um, a second roll for turn three to do. So we'll go for Amphibious Doctrine. And we'll go ahead and, and do two of the rolls. Uh, for turn one and two that we missed and these are going to be at a seven so we'll see if we can hit any of these and advance to stage two all right so we got one so we're at least at stage one let's see if we can get to stage two nope we can't all right well stage one of amphib doctrine <clears throat> Okay, so now we do our two tech rolls for Improved Construction and Amphib Doctrine. Both of these are at a seven. Now that we're all caught up with our tech rolls. So um, Improved Construction will be the blue die and Amphib Doctrine will be the white die. Both seven or higher. Ah, oh, we missed both of them. Ah, oh, that sucks. Well, that's the game getting back at me for forgetting that major factory. For screwing up Japan's setup. All right, uh, let's see. Purchases. We are not going to declare war on China this turn. Uh, we still have some units up in Western Manchuria that we want to bring down into Rihi um, so that we can utilize them for the battle when it breaks out. Um, our fleet is in position for the most part. We might make some changes once the, uh, once war breaks out. And then, um, we also, I also want to upgrade some militia. One militia in Rihi and one militia in Taiwan I'm going to upgrade. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's going to cost us four IPP, two per upgrade. <clears throat> and we will get those pieces out of the box. Japan's at the bottom, of course. Okay. So two militia upgrades. <clears throat> We're also going to finish off this um, heavy cruiser here. I believe that will cost us, let's see, that will be five so five ipp to finish that guy off um and that will leave us with five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve that'll leave us with 13 ipp um we definitely want to purchase a mountain that'll cost us four so another mountain infantry will help us out a lot in the rugged terrain of china when we go to fight there um, mountain. And then uh, we'll just go on with our usual purchase of two. Uh, let's see, that's going to be eight. Purchase of two Marines for each for a total of eight. So let's get two more Marines out of the box. Hmm. <clears throat> That'll leave us with one IPP left, and we're just going to save it. All right. Let's see. 
do 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 do. Um. Non-combat movement. We don't have any combat movement because we're not at war. Oh, we can't forget our recruitment roll for Siam. Would be pretty sweet to hit that again. Okay, so these three infantry in Western Manchuria are going to come down into Rihi. That is if we can squeeze them in here. At some point we're going to start using chips just to consolidate space. Okay, so that's eight infantry in Rihi, one cavalry, one mountain, one militia, and one motorized. Um, we're going to transport these we're going to transport these marines and two um, artillery down to Taiwan. And we'll just use these transports. One, pick these guys up. Two, drop them off. And they'll just stay, they'll just stay where they're at. And these Marines will go down here along with more artillery. Okay. We're also going to bring down, we're not going to need these this many transports in our home country. So we're going to go ahead and bring one transport down to uh, off Formosa. We will also bring down a destroyer and... Let's see, we're building one mountain and two marines. So we will keep, <clears throat> we're going to place them in Honshu. So we're going to bring one destroyer over into the Sea of Japan. Keep one transport there. Another transport will come over one, two, into the Yellow Sea along with a destroyer. And then we can, next turn when we attack, which I'm pretty certain we will invade China next turn, uh, we can use those ships to transport troops as we so see fit. Okay. Um, we will bring down a coastal sub into, uh, I think that's P-50, yeah, P-50. Uh, this other coastal sub will come down into P-41. I think that'll be it for non-combat movements. All right, let's play some units. This heavy cruiser is going to go... It's going to be manufactured... Yes, manufactured in Kyushu. And it will go into P-15. Uh, we have a mountain infantry. He is going to go with this other mountain infantry into Rihi. We have a minor factory there, so we can place down one unit there. And then two Marines will go into Kyushu. And then we have our militia upgrade. So we had one in Taiwan, or Formosa. And then our other upgrade is here in Rihi. That brings us up to, I believe, nine infantry in Rihi. All right, decent sized force. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, let me get this guy off the board. He's out in the middle of the ocean. 
Okay. All right, that'll do it for Japan. Uh, next up, we will do Commonwealth and France for their turn three. All right, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and see you later.